Good morning. Uh, welcome to the presentation. Uh, it's entitled Rating Scale Assessment of Child Psychopathology. And my name is Randy Camphouse. Uh, I'm a professor and dean of the College of Education at the University of Oregon. I'm also co-author of the Behavior Assessment System for Children, third edition. Adaptive skills and competencies are good predictors of school adjustment and academic adjustment. And what we found routinely when we were creating a typology of child adjustment and child maladjustment is that the strongest indicator of um, school success, or, or I should say, uh, let me put that a different way. Um, the best correlate of school success is the um, externalizing problems composite. Hyperactivity, conduct problems, um, attention problems, um, uh, aggression, uh, these sorts of problems are highly correlated with um, adjustment at school and academic achievement. And when you have these problems present, a child or adolescent is having significant difficulties at school. So that's the most important composite for school adjustment, school achievement, externalizing problems. However, what's the next most important? internalizing problems or adaptive skills. And adaptive skills in the case of the, of the BAS are behavioral and emotional strengths. For example, possessing social skills or being very adaptable to changes in school or changes at home, the adaptability scale. What we found was that the adaptive skills were more highly correlated with school adjustment in school success than the internalizing scales. So if you're just interested in a child's adaptation at school, the two most important composites, the two most important areas to interpret on the BASC are the externalizing problems composite and the adaptive skills composite on the parent and teacher rating scales. Internalizing is very important. It's just not highly correlated with school achievement. Let me try to explain uh, what I mean by that. We've done some research um, over many years in, in the US, and what we found is that children and adolescents in school can perform very well um, uh, if, they, if they have low scores on the externalizing problems composite, they have high scores on the adaptive skills composite, and they can perform well in school whether they have um, uh, depression and anxiety problems or whether they have an absence of those problems. So for example, we did some screening work in a large urban school district in, in the US and what we found was that uh, children without internalizing problems could get straight uh, uh, very high marks in school. Children with internalizing problems could get very high marks as well. In one study, we found the president of the high school student body had a horrible case of depression. Uh, she was in fact suicidal, but her marks in school were perfect. Her behavior in school was perfect because she had an internalizing disorder. So internalizing disorders are important for the assessment of child psychopathology. They're important for the prevention of suicidal ideation or actual uh, suicidal acts. Uh, they're just not as highly correlated with academic outcomes in school. So I hope I was uh, not too wordy there, uh, but I wanted to make the case that all three of these major composites are important, but for different purposes. 